Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Stock Kings YouTube video and today we'll be discussing Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. Now we are going to be discussing their huge catalyst event that they held yesterday being their demo day event. We're going to be going over this event and why I think people left that event a little bit disappointed in what they saw. So we'll be discussing that a little later in the video. We'll also be going into their new partnership that was very interesting that they released on the same day as their demo day event. We'll also be going in on that a little bit later in the video. And to end the video, we'll be discussing a little bit of technical analysis on Palantir to help you guys better manage your trades as well as ensure gains and reduce risk to help you guys grow your trading accounts so if you have any interest in palantir you are definitely going to want to stick around for that but before we get into any of that information if you guys enjoy this content please drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you know whenever we come out new videos and i also have my new discord link down below in the description if you want to check that out and i also have my weeble link in the description as well where if you sign up Put in $100, we can both receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600, guys. So that is a good way for you to support the channel as well as get some free money for yourselves. So if you're interested in that, use my link down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get right into this video. Okay guys, we are here on the daily chart here on TradingView for Palantir and I just kind of want to go over the recent price action that we saw from the last two days and the volatility that we got from this demo day event. So what we saw leading up into the event is this massive bullish candle here. This is a daily candle and we saw this run up pretty massively starting at around 23.21 ending at about 25.37. So this was where the event was priced in to the stock price and we talked about this a little bit yesterday and then this bearish candle is what we saw on the day of the event and this bearish candle is what we expected on this channel. I discussed this yesterday that this price could run up for this event during this event and it could end up anywhere touching any of these resistance points either the 50 EMA this resistance that I have here at 26.72 and also the resistance at $30.00 six cents however we ran up and just touched the 50 ema coming up to our first key point of resistance and we rejected very sharp, sharply off of this and where this sharp rejection is coming from is people were selling off the news so they were locking in their gains right here at 26 dollars and 25 cents and after that they sold off massively but on this channel we expected this to happen because we know that the day before yesterday this was the price where most of this was priced in for the event this was all the bullish momentum before the event and then after that when the event is over they sell the news trying to lock in some gains but good news here we are looking to come up a little bit off of this rejection point here where we ended the day at $23.70 to open pre-market at almost $24 and we are above this key support here at $23.82 so we will be sticking in around in this range up here from 2382 to 2463. So just as a key note, we rejected very, very sharply off of this 50 EMA because people were selling off the news. Now, also something I want to keep in mind as we progress in this video is this RSI indicator is right smack dab in the middle again on the daily chart. So we are not in any overbought or oversold territory. And this is something that we will want to keep an eye on as price continues to move forward. But just so you're aware, that is something that we are watching on this chart. Okay guys, let's discuss what happened a little bit on this demo day event. So what this demo day event was is they were talking about all of the technology that Palantir has and some of the people in industries that they are working with and in. Now, what we were expecting to see is a lot of technical jargon and that is exactly what we got. But what most people are disappointed with is that they cannot understand what Palantir is discussing and trying to show off. But these events aren't necessarily for the average investor. So when people are expecting to get a grand show from Palantir to show off this amazing technology, they just have their expectations way too high, guys. So what you should be expecting is a lot of things to go over your head during these events. These are a lot for data analysts, you know, people that are really going to understand what they're talking about, not for your average investor. Most of this information is going to go over your head and that's totally okay. You do not need to understand every single thing that they are talking about. 
What you do need to understand though is that this technology that Palantir has is saving companies so much money. What we saw with BP is they were able to use the foundry system for Palantir for about two weeks and they saved 50 million dollars guys. Now during this event I was hoping they would discuss this, how they were able to save them so much money. We did not exactly get that either. Again we got a lot of technical jargon that you know a lot of us retail investors don't necessarily understand understand but again that's okay they were able to show off some technology to hopefully a lot of people that did understand it and are bullish on this technology now what we did get and that we do understand is we got some words from palantir during this demo day event discussing some of the legal challenges that they've had with the data that they have received for example with the nhs they have said some lawsuits over some of the information that they received from the nhs so if we come over here we can also see that this is a headline titled the nhs issued legal Legal challenge over contract with Palantir. The lawsuit claims that the NHS England failed to consider the impact of the deal on patients and the public according to Sky News. So what the NHS, NHS did is they gave a lot of uh, private health information to Palantir which is a company outside of their country and a lot of people had issue with this. So Palantir touches on this because they do not want more lawsuits like this in the future as that is very bad for business and they basically went over that they have tons of checks and balances before anyone can have access to information in the company and that does not matter who you are in the company you have to give the reason why you need that information and that will go through a system of checks and give you the information based on need if you actually do need the information they will be giving it to you but if they decide that you do not need access to certain information you will not get access to that information so that is very good news for palantir describing kind of the safety protocols that they have with information that they are given and they are given a lot of you know you know secret information personal information and a lot of data about people that they may not necessarily want them to have so a lot of them you know are going through checks and balances and they are ensuring that this private information is not seen by you know people that do not need it so that was good news for palantir and i'm glad that they touched on that um, and that is good news for them moving forward but let's also discuss in other news this uh, new partnership that they have with clarify so if we come over here we can see uh, Clarify is to deliver AI slash ML al algorithms on Palantir's data management platform for U.S. Army's ground station modernization. Uh, Clarify is a leading AI lifecycle platform providing for managing unstructured image, video, and text data announced today that it has partnered with Palantir to deliver its artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms on Palantir's data management platform. This ever is part of the first phase of the U.S. Army's ground station modernization in support of its tactical intelligence targeting access node program called titan now we have seen this before and what we know is that this first phase got palantir around eight and a half million dollars but as this progresses they can earn up to 250 million dollars that is great for palantir and is definitely a big revenue source moving forward if they continue to go through these phases and i really like to see palantir getting um, contracts that are not related to the pandemic. That is very, very good for Palantir because a lot of their naysayers think that most of their revenue only came from pandemic related uh, contracts. So I love whenever Palantir can get a contract that is outside of the pandemic related situation. But let's get back uh, to this chart here and we can touch on a little bit more technical analysis on Palantir. And if you are wondering where these key and support resistances were drawn or why they were drawn there, you can check out my last Palantir video and I go all over all of these key support and resistance lines and why they are there. But again, what we discussed earlier is we got sharp rejection off the 50 EMA came down broke through all of these support lines that we had and now we are coming back up in the pre-market to uh, be 23.99 but let's take a closer look on the 30 minute so if we come over here we can see that uh, a little closer look we get a pretty good run up all the way coming to 26.19 and then that is where we get rejection off of to come down here and we broke this resistance right around here but this is a very good trade here as it seems that we came up rejected off this area and we bounced off of the support to come up broke through another support so if you got any of this gains leading up to the event that is very very good for you guys but something else i wanted to point out is we are 
just trading above the 50 EMA on this 30 minute. So that is good. We can use the 50 EMA as a shorter term confirmation as it is on the 30 minute. The lower the time frame you go, that is the shorter term confirmation. So when we talk on the daily chart, those are for long term confirmations and the 30 minute is more for a short term confirmation. But what I also like to see is this RSI. As soon as we came up to these peaks, you can see the RSI headed into way um, overbought territory. And once we hit that, that's that's where um, you saw price coming starting to come back down. So you could have used this as an indication to get out at that time. So once you saw this massive run up, you saw the RSI leading way out of uh, the overbought zone. That is a key indicator for you to know. OK, we're starting to hit peaks here. This may where be where we get some rejections at that point. So that is something to be aware of. I also like how it respected uh, the support here. However, once it bounced off, tested again, then we got the break of the rejection. So what we'll be looking for in this next price action is for the, it to use the support here at 23.83. Um, actually, let's move this down. It seems as though price more respected it right here at 23.71. So you can see price uh, rejected off of it here and it rejected off of it here to end the day yesterday. So we'll be looking for price to either come down and uh, retest the support to hopefully respect it and then move up to retest this resistance here. So if it does retest the support and it does reject off, that is your buy signal. And at that time, you will be putting stops just below the support just in case it does come back down. That will be bearish um, momentum. So you would want to be out at that time. So make sure you put your stops just below the support and be taking price targets at um, or pr partial profits at these key points of resistance. So we see one at 2464. And I would also like to make a new one on this 30 minute right about here at the peak where we saw it reject off of earlier. So these are two key resistance points on the short term uh, 30 minute time frame. So be aware of that as well. Make sure you're taking partial profits to ensure gains and trailing stop loss to reduce risks on your overall position. But that is all the information that I had for you guys today on Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. If you enjoyed this video and you found a value in it, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you know whenever we come out with new videos. And I have my Discord as well as my Weeble linked down below if you would be interested in those. But as always, guys, I hope you have an excellent day, get some gains in the market, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.